That's a big, you can't put that ball down, you gotta chin it. Strong play and a blocking foul chance for a three-point play from Pennsylvania. And he did, he did a great job. Ooh, and that's a tight one. That, the back foot might have been there. Position-wise, 50-50 call. That's what makes charges. The guy that, when the Bulls came into town in playoff series, his main job was checking Michael Jordan. He, man, I, I just, he had such a great career. See if they can get him a shot. Here he is coming to the ball side. Now Hogarth's going to take it instead and knock it down for three. He set the tone early, and man, what a game for Boo Booey. See the note, new career high, 28 points. That's the kind of effort that Michigan State needs to start chipping away at this lead. Hogarth back in the game, and the freshman provides a little bit of a spark with a bucket in the lane. Sperman Yarnas with the drive, and it's blocked by Michigan State. How about the disruptive defense from the Spartans? Who have been making a lot of threes. They block shots. They get out in transition. Apparently, Knights are good. They throw it away, though. Hogard on the break. One on one. Hogard challenge scores anyway. Spin right off it, and then he found Thomas Kithier, and then alert for the steal on the cross court pass and protects the ball. Oh, nice job by AJ. There was nowhere for him to go, and he pulled it back out. So there's way, there's a lane there for him to go that time for the lay it. You know, I said Foster Lawyer Hogard was on the floor. It should have been Hogard go ahead and grab it and get it back. Last possession. That was a good pass, and Henry finishes with the dunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Efficiency within the offense where you, you rarely have to force an offensive opportunity. Oh, Zach Hoiberg is checked in the game now. Meanwhile, Gabe Brown. 7-4 freshman Zach Eady, and that time they did it pretty well. They did it great, and I'll tell you what, Kithier put his chest into him in a heck of a drive. Yeah, Hogard with the bucket in transition to tie the game at four. The absolute best medicine for Indiana. Julius Marble getting his first start as they go down low and get an easy look to Aaron Henry. Washington played really nice defense for the moment. Second chance, and Hauser puts it up and in. He was thinking about Brown in the corner, instead finished himself. He's the number one item on the top of their defensive list for the Terrapins, who played great. 0-6 start Michigan State. Inside, Henry got it to go with a good pass inside. Knocked away, Smith was the recipient with a pass right here by this freshman, and well-timed. Well, sometimes it's quickness that gets you inside. The other side, Aaron Henry, just four points. Michigan State's leading score on the season, but Langford continues to have a good night. He now has nine. Michigan really picking up their defensive effort. Look at the way to scrap it. Shot clock at four. And the drive converted. 0 for 8 in the second half against his Maryland defense. Hauser finds Hogard crashing in. There's the bucket. He'll go to the line for one more. And then the finish, it's a lot of traffic in there. It goes in against three Maryland Terrapins. Able to get that layup to drop. It wasn't easy. And they have. He saves it, finds Christian Brown, who airballs the corner three. And Michigan State's done a good job blocking out thus far in the game. Wow, what a drive, finish, and one for A.J. Hogan. But they boxed out really well. Boxed out Ochai Abaji and then immediately get the ball to Hogart in transition. He gets out with his rear end to the, to the sideline and then gets to the middle. And look how he never took his eyes. Hogart, nobody really stopped the ball. And he goes coast to coast. And they go again. Working with Hogard inside and muscles that one up and in, and Michigan State back with him too. Well, you talk about Hogard coming off a career high, staying aggressive, getting all the way to the rim for the Spartans. Hogard gets inside, blocked from behind by Golden. Somehow able to get it back and set up Brown. He's got a three. Half has been kind of Michigan State able to knock in some open shots, gain the momentum. Hogard with it. 
Those baseline, a great pass and a flush from Marble. Defend that. We talked about Hogarth and his passing ability. Yeah. I don't even know how he saw Marble. <laughs> Beats me. He knew he had two guys and Marble was in the right spot. Good strong take, taking it right at Bingham, the shot blocker for his first two. That's a block's first shot attempt. Expect more from him offensively for the Oil. The Spartans, Hogarth goes down, doesn't give up, and finds an opening. But doesn't quit, doesn't complain, doesn't even beg for mercy, but just gets back up and then takes it in for the two-hand slam. Well, he gets it with three on the shot clock. He will fire. Oh, that's an air ball. Here comes State. Marble ahead of the field. Bounce pass. Good one. He lays it up and in. What a pass by Hogard and great hands by Marble. Bowser and Hogard in for Michigan State. Sohan Bonner and LJ Pryor now in for a pass. Mm. Strong two underneath. He had a great game yesterday and he starts off with an and one. You know, just even in driving a car, well, the people will tell you, experts will tell you, you take the car is going to go where your eyes are looking. And you have to look at the rim to the completion of the play. Hogarth gets a piece of the paint, knocks this ball away, pass ahead from all he doesn't just settle, gets a piece of the paint, everybody collapses and he kicks it. Mihai Carpona checks in with the ball up top for Toledo and five to shoot. And now throws it away. Here's Hogarth to the open floor, layup good. Not typical of, of Tom Izzo teams, right? Typically there are one or two players that you can go to. Now it's such a balanced roster. Any night somebody can step up and, and, and be that go-to scorer. AJ Hogarth does a good job of getting down that lane line, finishing with the inside hand. And now you need three pointers if you're Northwestern. Bowie drives in the lane, blocked by Hogard. Malik Hall's got it. That was a good look, but Tomonaga couldn't get it to drop. Now Hogard behind the back, dangerous, but somehow we made it all work. Boy, that handle, impressive. Curry with the offensive rebound, it's another one. 11 here for the game, offensive rebounds. That one's blocked. That's a heck of a defensive play by the Spartans. Now Hogarth, who had the game-winning assist last time out, and here, offensively puts it up and in for two. Here's Gilmore in the corner, got an open look, and air balls the three. Hogard will bring it up the floor. Oh, nice pass. And the one more coming at the line. Great feed ahead to Marcus Bingham. A.J. Hogard off the screen from Bingham into the lane. Hogard with the right, and he lobbed it up with a stuff from Bingham. Boy, we saw this in the Maryland game. Guy in really shouldn't have that happen against a 7-1 guy out front. Hogard turns the corner and lays it in. Once again, I and you see where Dickinson is on the floor. I tied at 24. So they got to get on the hoop. There you go. Hogard gives it up. Christie in for the jam. This is coming off a game against Michigan where I'm just thinking this is one of the best times I've ever seen him play. Same to be said about Wisconsin now, right on cue. There he is. Well, and he missed it, but the foul is there for Hauser. To Hall, Malik Hall, tri Hall triple team. It's good help off of Hogard. You know he's not going to hurt you from three. And wow. he got a good look at that. Max Christie for three. Has collected three boards already. A jumping jack off guard and point guard. And look at that. Hogarth gets, starts the break, navigate, gets past Galloway. Track, get him off your shooters, and deliver an inside-out pass. Ooh, ooh, that's a good pass. Nice lob by Hogarth up top for Bingham. The Spartans might fall out of the top 25. They lose this game. They lost earlier in the week to Penn State. Illinois currently 12th. Good drive by Hogarth and a foul. So a three-point chance. Hogarth. You reject the screen, you put that shoulder into the small. I, you know, I didn't see it coming to this level. You know, when he first stepped on campus and we were playing pickup games, you know, his offense, the way he scored in so many different ways was so impressive. And then last year, we grew up loving sports in part because of the big red machine. Look out. Brown, I went back and looked to see when the last Gabe Brown back cut was. No 
Gabe Brown runouts and no Gabe Brown back cuts. And when you're guarding him in the corner, you've got to have an idea that he wants to back cut you. Sasha Stefanovic gets caught watching the basketball, and all of a sudden, Gabe Brown's putting it on a poster. Isn't it amazing what one shot going down it's, early? It changes the game. be better defensively, but at times it gets you in chase mode. Chase mode opens up some drive opportunities, and Brown capitalized. Oh, God, yes, as he lays it in with the left hand. Top of the arc, in and out. Johnny Davis, but there's Wall. What a block. Hogard rejects it out of bounds. To secure that rebound. Well, Hogard, that, that leg's okay. <laughs> Got Goodness. Yeah, a little treatment in the back. There it is. Look at Raft. Look at Raft. Call it. Empty side. They love that play. Early. Already his fourth shot attempt. Been the focal point of this offense for the Lumberjacks. Hogard double team finds Kohler down low, dunks it home with the right hand. Big key for him, staying out of foul trouble, staying on the court. Hauser from the corner. Got it! They needed that. They needed Joey Hauser to be Joey Hauser. Shoot the rock, baby. Nice recovery here. Four to shoot. Hogard behind the back. I'm going to say that there's more water here in Western Oregon than there is in Mali. Weaving his way through, finishing AJ Hogar. 45% three point shooting. Nice wraparound, fine. Hogar delivers and Soko finishes. He's really only played two out of the last 13 weeks. Pass to Sissoko. Hogard off the bounce and the floater off the window and down. Mix and match, especially along that front line with the two early fouls on Sissoko. Here's Pickett trying to create for himself. What great defense. Hogard picked his pocket. Hogard in to end, counted, and a foul. What a play. Tremendous defense. Not going for the up and under. You bring it down, you don't foul. The set for that sequence. Tom Izzo not happy. Michigan State not coming up with that ball. A couple of guys set to check in as Hogar drives the lane and rolls it in. Hauser picks up the dribble. Aiken's looking for space. Shot clock at three for Hogard from deep. AJ Hogard's got 11 points. Oakland is going to look to ISO and take people and spread them out and make it tough on their defense. You get the ball inside the paint, you make the defense shift. They've been empty the last 10 possessions. Here he is in the post, as you predicted, Dane. A little up and under gets on the board. And that's something that AJ can do. Second half, they've been outscored 6 0. Two to shoot. Hold on. Attacking, patient, got the roll. Not able to finish a little short on that jump hook by Dickinson. Oh, God. Oh, nice spin. Oh, 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 oh. The crowd is into it. The intensity is there. A.J. Hogarth with a little spin. Here's Hogarth. Spins. Oh, yes. and lays what it in. Move. Nice move. And how AJ quick Hogarth. was that from A.J. Hogarth? I honestly thought it was pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Would you say that he's probably the, the one transfer in the Big Ten that's lived up to the hype? Nice pass. Ooh. And a finish up top for Mati Sissoko. Basket for him and his confidence. And then here's Mati Sissoko throw it up. Lawyer missed the three. Edie nearly got a hand on that to clutch it. Hold on. Lead him in for two. Get too deep for fear of the big fella Luma. A little kiss. Stay in touch. Two on Warrior. And knock a little fall away 15 foot jump shot. Beautiful pass. Great pass. And a lay in for Jackson Coleman. But credit the feed to Hogard. But twice here off a little dribble penetration. Hogard inside for two. Mission. Galloway turns the corner, left it short on the runner. Three and here on, comes Hogard. Yep. One-handed bounce, that's Aikens. 
And here come the Spartans. We are tied. Live for the Spartans. And then Sparty in the open floor with Akins. Murray with the rebound. Perkins on the hop inside strip. Michigan State with numbers. Oh, God. Took it away from the freshman. Here's Aiken, stops. Martin has it. Hogard picks his pocket and then lays it up and in. Look at the balance. But Hogard all the way down the middle of the lane. A rare defensive miscue by Rutgers. Yeah. Hogard, a crab dribble it back. Now attack. Hauser from the corner. Give me all three of those. Okay, Scott gets caught watching the ball. Double team. Tough pass for Key. He could not get a handle on him. He needed to take some heat off of that pass from that distance. Hogarth the other way for two. Big time move by A.J. Hogarth. Howard again. Loose ball. Scramble. Hogarth comes out with it. Hogarth on the move. The lob. How? Oh! Malik Hall. Malik Hall able to get up, catch, finish inside. Give themselves an opportunity to, for the Indiana defense to perhaps make a mistake. Here's Hogard. Gets the screen from Sissoko. Throws it up! He throws it down! Mati Sissoko, he's going to set a little ball screen here and immediately turn and run to the rim. And Trace Jackson Davis just gives a little bit on the ball, a little fake trap. Of the college basketball regular season. Hogard around a screen. Hogard. Hauser. Open. Got it. Another Michigan State three. And Lawrence averaging about four points per ball game. But Kevin coming off an outstanding offensive performance against Minnesota. He was one of six Cornhuskers in double digits. What a real nice drop off from Hogard to Kohler running to the rim. Or get to that pull up I talked about. He's a really good athlete as well. He's just an elite scorer. Has struggled on this end though. Michigan State's got to make it go. Hogard with the lob to Malik Hall. Third game in three days for the Buckeyes. Thornton is thrown out of the gym. Sissoko with the swap. Hogard cash it in on the other end. And AJ Hogard high up the glass to avoid the shot clock. Edwards, 12 on the shot clock. Hogard knocks it free. Up ahead to Walker. Oh, he had Carr for a moment and said Sissoko will finish. That's a very new team. You, know, you lose two lottery picks and one of the better centers in college basketball, and it's a pretty big hole to fill. Oh, oh, oh. It's amazing how often shoes come off in college basketball. High tops. It's like, yeah, high tops like they don't, don't tie them. This is what Tom Izzo wants from A.J. Hogard. Get going downhill, as the kids say. He actually didn't really get much of a screen but there was action out top and he's able to get right in the lane go right down the pipe and because he had to carry the mail in that James Madison game way more usage than they thought he'd get and now Walker will try the three and how many looks has Tyson Walker gotten like that this season terrific pass Michigan State the scouting report for the week leading up was going to be all about transition defense Here's that pass from Hogarth. He draws Jalen Thomas It's a beautiful pass smart play So you have to be conscious if you're Malik Hall, you know the double team is coming to stay away from the sideline Hogarth puts it home Count it tie game and a foul Hogarth able to turn the corner more inside, Hogard rips it away. AJ looking to push, numbers, three on two, the drop off to Holloman. Hey! Baylor on the season. Rare turnover, Hogard the... Cohen Carr, the high flower. But trailing by 11, Michigan State has really defended Trey Townsend well, kind of hobbling as he got up there. Spartans recognize they might have numbers. Hogard all the way to the rim. Uh, he does a masterful job. I'm sorry, he got the steal. That's right, he got the steal. Watching the center of your screen, you got Malik Hall and Mati Sissoko so bunched up that Hogard couldn't pass it. So Malik just... Hogard on the drive into the lane. Tough bucket and the foul. Got an opportunity to 
with slow starts, but when A.J. Hogarth comes out aggressive, it's almost impossible for that to continue. Noel picked up his dribble, almost had it taken away by Walker, and now he'll give it up to Hogarth. MSU with numbers, Aikens! Cohen Carr on the floor, and a good first half, especially catching lobs. High percentage shots. Hogard spinning around, one more. Looks like he's a little banged up off the drive, but the spin move, you can see there, Hogard's not just spinning to go east-west. That is a vertical north-south type spin. Get to the rim. Six to shoot now for Hogard on the outside. Double comes on the hedge. Lob it in. Great feed for Hall and the patience for two. With Marcus is so cool on that strong side block. Holloman, good kick. Extra pass. Well, they are moving the ball in a hurry, and it all works out. A.J. Hogard from deep. Michigan State has Northwestern in those rotations. Michigan State in the half court to score against these guys. They're really closing it down in the paint. You know, turnovers to goals, so excellent defense. This is where you got to finish. He's had opportunities at least three. Battle down in the post. Garcia and Hall. Well, the Joseph had stripped away. Tyson Walker trying to create contact. Leaves it up for Hogard. I think I'm with you in terms of this is a pass. <laughs> no question, because you can see he's trying to draw a little body and got a little too far under the rim and just left it and Hogarth tucks it in. Deep breath goes to the left short. Missing run, Cooper! Tomahawk jam! Young has got 15 for Maryland. He's just behind Scott for leading scorer who has 16. Strong. Hogarth strong. With the offhand, A.J. Hogarth penetrates and finishes. Look at this. It's just amazing. His shoulders, he gets squared up. He attacked. Driving inside, Hogard stops, got in the air, and able to kick it out to Hall. And there's the first three of the night for Michigan State. He had mentioned last couple days that he felt like the team had to do a lot better job of playing harder. Gets the offensive board on the back top, and he finishes through the contact. Hogarth, the hook, the hog, and a chance for three. He's now got four offensive rebounds themselves. You can see, that's just Monty Sissoko cracking in and going at Terrence Williams. The second chance is there, and now an opportunity for three. Geronimo now picks him up on the switch. Hogarth going past Geronimo. High arcing shot drops. Michigan State by four. Payne can't finish inside. Rebound cleared by Hall. Running again. Oh, great feed. Hogarth finds Sissoko for the slam. Wow, great job of Michigan State. Cross court. Defense could not respond quick. Goody on him. Ogar drives into the paint, puts up a shot, counted, and one! Coleman Hawkins lets him get by, gets out of position, good shot. I sure to count that one, there's another block there, huh? Four blocks in this game for Penn State, they are dialed in on the defensive end. Spartans forced a turnover, Ogard out and running, much needed easy bucket in transition. They swing it, Jackson looking inside for Reed, six to shoot, Jackson taking away, Hogarth, outlet, Walker, leaves it, and gets with that. Now a reset for Walker with 20 to shoot. Zoom it, Hogarth, Kohler's begging for it. Oh, lob it instead, a nice look, and Hall just guides it in. Get out and run a little bit more, play a little faster, try to get some easy baskets. A little more urgency. There's a steal. And the open floor. And a lay-in by Hogarth. We've seen some more physical fouls that have been called more than that. Maybe it's because his arm wrapped around, and that's where the official got it. Hogarth, two and a foul. And credit to Michigan State. That's what you said this at halftime that AJ Hogarth has to do a better job of this finishing at the rim. He was able to use the momentum of both first and also. Oh boy. Falling out of bounds. Turnover. Walker lays it in. Michigan State doing a great job of sitting in the lap and bringing additional defenders into Garcia's vision. And Garcia turns it over. Walker off the glass for two. 
after the turnover by Smith. Hogard lobbing to Sissoko behind Edie for the two-hand flush. Nice job getting Sissoko involved offensively there.